In this Centerversity one-on-one -on -one quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take multiple texture tag projections and move them into a single materials reflectance channel. So we really need to do this sometimes because the texture that we're using to add detail to the existing texture is uh, it just requires a very different projection. So like here on this table, this uh, this wood grain has this spatial projection at this awkward angle uh, with this size and this position but this texture uh, that I want to use to get some uh, like a water stain on here uh, has a flat projection type with very different position scale and rotation values. There we can see that the texture is in a completely different place, different size than this one which I've set up and this is what I want to uh, change the reflectance so let's undo that okay so how do we do this well the secret is to use the projector shader and this is also a great way to minimize the number of materials and tags in the scene and this also streamlines our reflectance workflow so let's go to the uh, the layer that we want to adjust here. So I want a water ring that's um we'll just, we'll say it's a little more shiny. So I'm going to take this reflectance layer and copy and paste it and name it rings. And then I am going to go to its layer mask and I'm going to paste that shader. Uh well that uh that grime map that uh, WDM rings balls. So it's uh, the projection is not right. It's using, um, we can already see here, it's using the original texture tags projection, which I do not want. So in order to get it to use this other one, I'm going to load on top of this texture the effects projector. So adding the projector shader, it automatically uh, puts the texture map into it. And then all I have to do is make sure that the texture tag that I want to copy is the actively selected texture tag, which it is. I can tell by the orange uh, highlight around it. And then in the projector shader, just click on paste tag and it'll automatically uh, give us those settings from the texture tag, which is selected above and puts it right into this one channel for this one texture. Now the drawback is we can't see this in the editor view. We do have to render, but it's a small price to pay for having this uh, flexibility and this this uh, amount of control with our textures and projections in a material. So I'm going to do this one more time, a uh, little more quickly, uh, so that the wide blur is a uh, roughed up using, just waiting for it to load, using this texture. Uh, so it's already set up and this has a different size and position than the other one. But in the wide blur I'm going to go to the layer mask and let's, uh, let's copy this texture and go back to the wide blur reflectance layer in the layer mask. I'm going to paste my uh, grime map and then I have to load the effects projector, go into its settings. I have my tag active selected and click paste. And then I'll just do a test render. So we have the water ring here. And then just above it, we're starting to see some of the wide blur reflection uh, masked out. So by using the projector shader, we can put different projections into a single material. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversity101.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.